Good evening, boys and girls, and my name is Herr Drosselmeyer, and this is Drosselmeyer's, and we're going to read you the story of The Nutcracker. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. One cold and frosty Christmas Eve night, the Stahlbaum house shone festive and bright. Twinkling candles lit up the tree as guests arrived for the Stahlbaum's party. Clara and Fritz both clapped to see treats of chocolate, candy canes, sugar mice, and sweets. The last to arrive was Herr Drosselmeyer, who offered his gifts for all to admire. Yeah, I, I do want to have yes and no. I hear you have yes and no. That is, you're right. Clara and Fritz chuckled and cheered as two life-size dolls suddenly appeared. Then Clara and Fritz watched, entranced, as the magical dolls whirled and danced. Then Herr Drosselmeyer took out the best gift of all. He gave Clara a splendid Nutcracker doll. In his elegant uniform, he was a fine sight, and Clara's eyes opened wide with delight. But before Clara's thanks had even been spoken, Fritz grabbed the doll, and it was broken. Her Herr Drosselmeyer, being kindly and good, tried mending the Nutcrackers. Nutcracker splintered wood. Then, after much feasting, dancing, and play, Herr Drosselmeyer left on his sleigh. As he waved good night, Clara's mouth said, Hurry now, children, it's time for bed. Later that night, as the silent house slept, Clara rose from her bed and down the stairs crept. Then, among all the presents, she quickly sought the nutcracker that Herr Drosselmeyer brought. Smuggling down with the doll at, his, at her chest, she waited for sweet dreams to fill her night's rest. Before very long, she awoke with a fright, startled by strange sounds in the still night. And sitting up quickly, blinking her eyes, she saw all the toys had grown life size. Her beloved Nutcracker stood mighty and tall, so that when she stood by him, Clara felt small. Behind him, tin soldiers stood in a row, with their muskets all loaded and ready to go. Then a troop of gray mice marched into the room and startled the battle by the light of the moon. The mighty mouse army, led by the mouse king, bombarded the soldiers and looked set to win. The nutcracker commanded as best he could, but they were outnumbered. It didn't look good. When the nutcracker fell, Clara took up her shoe and aimed at the mouse king, then desperately threw. The soldiers all cheered as the king was struck down. The mice were defeated and the toys seized his crown. When Clara looked into the Nutcracker's eyes, she was amazed and gasped with surprise. For during the battle, or perhaps even since, he had changed from a doll to a handsome young prince. Now the prince looked at Clara, bowed down, bowed down and cried, Come, my dear Clara, let's go outside. The prince led Clara to a magical sleigh that flew through the night to a land far away. There, beneath the stars twinkling bright, enchanted snowflakes danced through the night. The dance is for you, the handsome prince said, but we mustn't stop here. There's more fun ahead. They journeyed on to the kingdom of sweets, a land full of dancing and sugary treats. The sugar plum fairy, so dainty and nice, dance especially for Clara on a stage of ice. Next came a dance from the sweets of the world who made Clara dizzy as they twisted and twirled. The next thing she knew, Clara was awoken and her Nutcracker doll was no longer broken. Had her adventure been all that it seemed or was it a fantasy she had just dreamed? Clara's questions were soon chased away as Fritz, Fritz wished her a Merry Christmas Day. The end. Good night.